Oh, it looks like something from like the Trojan times, but and it's so loved by our customer. I'll see you in just a minute. All right, see you in a few. All right, if you are a gardener, roots and rocky soil are a problem no more with Spearhead. You've loved this product. It's customer top rated by you and 99% of customers would recommend it to a friend. So I'm recommending it to you. It's our Spearhead gardening shovel and spade and bringing it to us. Julian Matthew joins us this morning. Welcome Julian. Good Hi, to Gabrielle. see you. Good to see you. All right. We had to have you during spring fe uh, fever day. You need a shovel, right? To plant all your plants in the spring, right? But this is a much better shovel invented by your father. It, he was. He was 85 years old when he came up with this and he came back from Florida one year and there he just he couldn't dig anymore with a regular shovel and we're going to show you why it was so tough to dig with a regular shovel now life is much easier well we have spearhead today on three easy payments all right so why do customers love the spearhead so much it's because it makes digging so much easier especially when you're digging in the tough stuff you know you have clay soils you have rocky soils you have lots of roots you have perennials that need to be subdivided you you have uh, caliche out west you have, or you're just getting older and you need a tool that works so much easier for you so you make your life so much easier. All right, well, let's show everyone how it works and then we'll show you why and how it was made and why it works so wonderfully. So this is a regular shovel, mm -hmm. a regular round point shovel that you're going to use normally in your garden, right? And here's the spearhead yeah. spade. You can tell these are very different, right? You know that this is going to get into the ground so much easier because it's shaped like a spear and, and it's much narrower down here. So you're concentrating all your weight on a single point. But you don't need as much weight or you force don't. or power to use the spearhead, right? So let's say these were roots, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you took a regular shovel and you're trying to dig through roots or you're trying to separate some perennials or you're trying to do anything around tree lines, right? So I'm going to stand on this. So hopefully they zoom out far enough so they can see me standing on this mm -hmm. and nothing is happening, right? Nothing is happening down there, right? <laughs> nothing. So now mm -hmm. if you take a look inside, now you can see this just goes in like butter. So it will cut through and, and poke around all the roots. It, it, it goes through and mm -hmm. slices the roots mm -hmm. versus the other shovel, you have to jump up and down. You the have to use your weight and power to break them. The but spearhead. You, you're getting very little weight and power. Mm -hmm. It's well, too wide. If I weigh 200 pounds, I'm getting only 40 pounds per square inch because it's so wide. With this spearhead. shovel, I'm getting 2,000 pounds per square inch huge difference when it comes to penetrating those tough conditions. So roots, no problem, but no what about problem. if I have really rocky, hard soil? So I'm glad you asked that, Gabrielle. Uh, and you know what? We're going to show you a demonstration, but what are we seeing here? Um, here we're, we're moving hostas or separating hostas. You know, those have lots of roots. Those are very tough to do. Or if you're digging in, in turf or you need to remove turf to plant some nice flowers near a rock wall, this is perfect for this. You know how tough that is with a regular shovel. Sub, sub uh, dividing and transplanting plants like roses. Very easy to do with this, especially if you have the tough conditions. We had one lady that transplanted 25 roses and she, every one of them survived, she attributed it to this product. Here we're doing detail work. Mm -hmm. We're removing just a little bit without disturbing everything around it. Yet, we're doing big work. We're doing the big plants. We're cutting through the roots of a big bush and then you'll see in a minute here where it pops out so much more easily. It just pops out because you've sliced through all the roots and the plants are going to survive. That's why it works so easy. Nice beveled edge as you can see there. Well, this is available today on three easy payments. Remember, it's spring fever. Everything on air is on easy pay today. And this has been a customer favorite. When you have a chance, check out the reviews online because it's highly rated, a lot of great feedback. It's the shape. This is totally different than yep. your standard shovel. Exactly. So this is called the spearhead shape, mm -hmm. and it's shaped like this for a specific reason. Mm -hmm. It's because we're concentrating all our weight on that single point, that right? Mm -hmm. Just like you're showing. And then we're wedging and slicing our way all the way down, right? All these edges are sharpened all the way down. Now, when you first get it, it doesn't look as sharp as it really is because what we have on here is an epoxy powder coating. You have to use it a few times and it becomes sharper and sharper the more you use it, okay? So now you're wedging and slicing all the way down. So, and I'd love to share some of the customer reviews oh, that have that been would posted be great. online. So if you take a look, this customer says, this beats all the shovels I have ever used for the garden. Sure, easy on my back and easy to use digging. Oh, I love that they said it was easy on their back. All right, this customer says, I dug out two small tree stumps. All right, that's usually <laughs> impossible to do. And their root system with the shovel, and no problem. Much better job than my flat or round shovel could handle. And again, 
top rated by you. You can read the reviews online. Oh, wait, I have to read this last one. Uh, I got this thing and planted three big plants the very same day. It's a marvel. All right, I'd love to show everyone, though, how this will cut through rocky soil. Yes, and you know, in New England and a lot of places in the country, you have a lot of rocky soil, mm -hmm. and it's tough because your blade is too wide, right? Okay. It's, it's spanning multiple rocks. You're looking at different angles, trying to get in between, and you're not going anywhere because your, your, budding, your, your shovel's too wide. You're looking for a gap between the shovels that's at least the width of the blade. Well, with this shovel, it's so pointed, there, it, it automatically finds the path of least resistance. Even if I try to hit this rock, it glides off it. See how it just glides off of it? So every time I go in, you're gonna think I'm going through in between the rocks on purpose, I'm not. It's the shovel that's doing it. Mm -hmm. it. It wants to avoid the rocks. It pushes the rocks away. It's, so it automatically finds a path of least resistance. And this is an extreme demonstration. You're probably not going to be planting in something this rocky, and, but if you have a soil that's not ideal, a little bit harder to garden in, the spearhead makes the job so much easier. It does. And we have not talked yet about just how, what's different about the shovel that makes it so tough and durable. When we first introduced this to the master gardeners and, gar and the gardening clubs, I wanted to make sure that this is something they were going to love. Well, you kind of road tested it with those uh, I master did. gardeners I first. I did, mm -hmm. and they came back and they said, oh my God, mm -hmm. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is so much easier compared to my other shovels. You know, especially when we had the clay, especially when we had the rocky soil, especially when we had lots of roots, or the perennials, especially subdividing perennials. So your mm -hmm. ornamental grasses, your Siberian irises, your hostas, your daylilies, all those things that are really, really tough. You this can is, cut and separate using your spearhead. This is basically mm -hmm. your new steak knife for the garden, right? So think about it. It's, <laughs> It's a double-edged knife shaped like a shovel that you can push into the ground with all your weight. It's a slicing action rather than, I call yours, a mashing action, the regular shovels. Nice, generous footrest here to make it uh, more comfortable to do those conditions. Longer socket to prevent it from breaking. Normal sockets only go to about right here, and that's why they break there. Now, by extending this another three to four inches, double riveting it, now the area most prone to be broken is no longer going to get broken. Well, Julian, let's show everyone again how this will just slice through roots because this really, uh, I think, for many oh. gardeners, is a big, big problem. And now we're bringing you a product that makes easy work. It takes less muscle. It takes a lot less elbow grease to cut through those roots. Right. So here, I'm going to stand on this. Hopefully, you can zoom this out a little bit so you shovel. can see me. Right. So nothing is happening. And that's why you have to jump up and down on those types of situations with a regular and you, shovel. And, and use all your might. Mm -hmm. Right, with this. Now, I'm just going to step on this. Watch this. It slices right so It just right goes in like butter. Mm -hmm. And we there go. we go. Mm -hmm. So it's just like nothing's, no effort at all, Because right? that spearhead is really concentrated and just diving right through, whether it's your rocks, whether it's your roots. Now, what is this? I know you said this is a weed blocker. This is weed block. A lot of times you'll put plants down and, and several years later, you have to come back and replace some of those plants because they've died or whatever. And you have to get out there and with a hand and knife and try to rip it out or whatever. You don't have to do this with this. With our shovel, you're able to go through this. I'm not even gonna put my weight on it. And so one less tool I need to drag out from the shed and from the garage. The spearhead really is a multitasker. I love that you said it's kind of a steak knife for the garden. It is. And we're going to say hi to Tanya. She's uh, oh, dialing in fantastic. from Michigan this morning. Tanya, it's Julian and Gabrielle. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing really well. So are you giving the spearhead a try? I am. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it, and it looks wonderful. Our yard is real rocky and mm -hmm. lots of old trees, so we have a lot of roots. And um, a friend of mine has some really overgrown hostas, and she wants me to help split them. And this just looks like the this tool will I be need. the perfect item for you. You're not going to believe it until you use it. All right, Tanya, just make sure you write your name on your spearhead because your neighbor might try to borrow it and never give it back when she sees how great it works. People, That's when they get true. this. That's <laughs> Yeah. Might make a good birthday gift, though. I can teach her to do her own gardening. Oh, perfect. Perfect for that. Uh, yeah, when people buy this, they, they want to see if it for themselves. They put their names on it, like Gabrielle said, or they, they hide it because they don't want anybody else to borrow they it. Kinda they kind of walk away it. and yes. never come back. <laughs> well, Tanya, I'm excited for you to get, be able to try this. You'll find that you'll have to use a lot less elbow grease and muscle when shoveling, when you use the spearhead. I'm looking forward to getting it and trying it. This is great. All right. Well, happy gardening season. Once you buy Thank one, you. you'll, Take care. you'll end up buying more than one of these for all your friends and relatives because it makes such a difference for you that you want to spread the joy. Well, remember, 
It's on Easy Pay today, and already over 500 of you have dialed in to pick up your spearhead. You are starting to plan and plot your garden, and you're thinking, you know what? This is going to be the perfect way to begin. Julian, thank you so much. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you.